Hey Aries, uh, welcome to your love reading for today, August 4th, all the way to August 14th for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you guys are doing really good. Uh, keep in mind that, yeah, your timeline is a little bit different than other signs. Sa the same will be for air signs for this uh, particular batch. And honestly, don't get hung up on that. It's just to keep myself organized. Whenever you come across this video or if you feel compelled to watch any video from any reader, watch it, take it home with you. You're guided to watch it for a reason, and time is not linear anyway, okay? But like I said, I just do it to keep myself organized. So people have been with me for a while. I'm no longer doing the pre-shuffle sessions just to keep my time um, not so long, <laughs> just to make sure my videos are not so lengthy, but you know me. I can't help it. I always end up making long videos anyway. So Aries, let's go ahead and talk about your meditative session. Aries, a lot of sexual energy, a lot of sexual energy. And you know, it's so crazy because like Capricorn kind of had that, Scorpio kind of had that, and now you kind of have that. I wonder what Earth sign's gonna have that, probably Taurus. Oh no, wait, no, we did Earth signs, probably, no, Air signs, Jesus. I had a bit of a late night, guys, bear with me. <laughs> for Air signs, just intuitively, for anyone who's gonna have sexual energy, I feel like it's Gemini. I feel like it's gonna be Gemini. Uh, but anyway, Aries, let's talk about you, this is your time. So. The first thing I saw was an opal, white opal, very specific, white opal. And I loved seeing that for you guys. Um, opals, for those who are not aware, um, it's a lot of, uh, it's, mm, my words, it's regarding sacral energy, okay? Sexual energy, romantic energy, loving energy, but definitely the sacral and sexual energy was at the forefront. Uh, for you guys and keep in mind this is energy that I'm sensing in and around you so it could be energy that you're experiencing or someone who's in your energy field someone who's attached to you energetically okay so just keep that in mind if it's not immediately resonating with you you could be this could all be about someone that you know all right or someone who really wants to get down with you just saying um, but the white opals, like I loved that it was white and it was so clear. It was such a pristine uh, stone. And for anybody, you know, maybe you're just dealing with someone who's born in October. It could also indicate that, or you could be buying some jewelry for yourself. But I have this this energy of really pure love, like a really amazing, sexual, loving, divine connection, like the trifecta. The trifecta, it's spiritual, it's sexy, and it's loving, right? The trifecta that everybody wants, essentially. For some of you, I do feel like this is someone that you do know, that's someone you have a history with. Most of you, I feel like it's new. Most of you, I feel like it's new. Um, someone that you don't have a sexual history with. Uh, I don't know if they maybe be that, want me to be that specific about it. Um, okay, for those where this is someone you have a history with, it's a sexual history. You have a sexual history with this person. Um, and for the ones where it's like a newer connection, you don't have a sexual history with them. So maybe they're a friend or a coworker, or maybe, you know, you guys are just getting closer. Um, but yeah, very distinctly, there's a group where you have a sexual history and you know this person. And I feel like a, like a connection coming in, like coming in, which tells me that if you guys are getting closer, again, this I'm honing in on the group where there's a sexual history, it, it had to be pulled apart at some point. If it has to come together, that means it wasn't together, right? Um, yeah, yeah, closing the gap, closing the gap, balancing things out, working something out, working something out. Um, and for the other group where this is a new, a new connection, I mean, like I said, it's just a new connection, right? Really, really nice energy. However, I did pick up on some dark energy, like dread like a nine of swords dread kind of energy around this connection and for those where there's a sexual history and you're trying to work it out i think it's just fear i think it's just fear of damn can we do this i'm afraid to have this conversation someone's afraid to have the conversation someone's afraid to 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 give their loyalty actually to give their loyalty to give their effort to this someone's afraid which just tells me they've probably been burned in the past but someone's afraid aries in this someone is afraid of giving their energy in that way. Um, they want to, they definitely want to, but they're scared, they're scared. Um, and for and for those of you where this is a new connection coming in, I feel like this dark energy is like more of a, like a sad energy, like the one that got away energy. So Aries, it could be for the person that you are connecting with or someone who's been pining after you, but there's definitely someone who's been pining after one of you. Um, and it's like, damn, I missed my chance. I missed my chance. How did I miss my chance? Like someone can't really believe they missed their chance. Hold on, let me get some water. Mm. 
excuse me but that's definitely what I'm picking up with that <coughs> I had a bit of a late night and I'm a little dehydrated sorry let me get some more water <clears throat> okay Aries, I also saw a bull, which I thought was interesting. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, you could be a cusper, but it was like a raging bull. They weren't like angry. It was like sexual frustration. A lot of sexual energy, a lot of sexual frustration. I hate the term blue balls, but it's kind of like that blue ball energy. I also feel feminine energies that are in heat. Definitely, there, there's just a lot of like heat sexual energy coming up. Someone needs release, Aries. <laughs> Someone really needs release. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. For anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Any messages for Aries regarding love? From now until August 14th. Any messages for Aries regarding love? From now until August 14th. <clears throat> <coughs> I know Aries is making me crazy. It's making me crazy too. Any messages for Aries regarding love from now until August 14th? <laughs> oh, I'm hearing peaches and cream. <laughs> oh, that takes me back. That takes me back. Um... I think someone's actually listening to it. I think someone's actually listening to this right now. Peaches and cream. I'm not. I'm not singing it. I'm not singing it. Yeah, someone's in heat. Someone's in heat. Someone's got. Someone's got blue balls. Someone needs to just have a little release. Any messages for Aries regarding love from now until August 14th? Okay. Hanged man. Wow. Piscean energy. Talk about frustration. <laughs> being bound up right <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry underneath that we do have the empress here i'm using spellcaster deck spellcaster's deck as the primary just for, like some of you guys asked me so the hanged man someone's doing a hell of a lot of contemplation i'm actually getting overthinking overthinking someone's way overthinking something here um they want to be better I'm, yeah i'm feeling this is like this is for the energy where it's you're trying to make something work with someone um, or someone's trying to make something work with you. Uh, someone from your past you have a sexual history with. Again, very specific. A sexual history with. Oh. The sexual frustration's a little distracting. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to ignore it. I'm trying to ignore it. But yeah, I feel like someone's way overthinking. Really overthinking. I never get that with the hangman, but that's what I'm getting. I, the energy that's overthinking, they're going through their own spiritual stuff right now, which is not helping the situation. They're, yeah, they're overwhelmed. Yeah, this person is overwhelmed. Whoever this is, Aries, it could be you. Ah, oh, excuse me. You could be an Aries, Piscean, Cusper. But yeah, they, they're going through their own spiritual stuff, which is making them overwhelmed and making them overthink. Yeah, it's making them overthink the connection. It's making them overthink their own situation, their own spirituality. It's like this person just needs to go with the flow. One day at a time. <laughs> this person needs to take, it, take shit one day at a time. Any other messages for Aries? oh wow 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 seven of wands in reverse uh leo energy and then we have a ten of pentacles in reverse uh virgo energy drop the ball mm. drop the ball drop the ball drop the ball i just keep getting dropped the ball with this someone could have let a family member down that was interesting I'm also getting humiliated by someone's family or within someone's family, ashamed within their own family. Yeah, I feel like someone's getting a lot of shit from their family, Aries. I don't know if that, that could be you or, or this person. I think it's this person. It's this person. Yeah, this person's home life, their family life, even it could even be their career. Uh, something that they had a lot of faith in, something that they really protected, spent a lot of time protecting. It's just like, it's almost like the tables got turned on them. Yeah, it's what this person's going through. So while they're thinking about this connection, Aries, while they're thinking about this connection, they're dealing with this. They're dealing with this family shit. Again, this could be you, Aries. Dealing with this family shit or business. It could, like I said, it could be career, it could be family. It is the pentacles. Um, but it's something they had a lot of faith in, something that was really important to them, something they really protected and fought for, something they fought for. And it's just like the tables turned. 
whoever was involved with this person in this Ten of Pentacles energy, it could have been a marriage, a family, business environment, um, the people in that environment or person turned on them. Humiliated is humiliate hum, humiliated humiliated them. Oh, I don't like that. Humiliated them. And it is part of their spiritual journey though. It had to happen. That's what my guides are telling me. It had to happen. It had to happen. And this is why they're overwhelmed, because they have this going on while they're also trying to figure out their connection with you. And again, this could be vice versa. This could be your energy. Wow. Okay, let's keep it going. Any other messages for Aries regarding love? <clears throat> From... oh. Four of Swords in reverse, Libra energy. Lovers in reverse, uh, Gemini energy is also my divine soul connection card. So soulmates, twinsies, divine counterparts, whatever label resonates with you. But this is basically a divine connection, okay? A divine connection that really needs repair really needs repair and king of wands leo energy could also be um fire or air this energy wants to fix it this energy wants to fix it i feel like it's the same energy that's in this hangman hangman position yeah aries this person if you're in the group where you have a new connection where there's no sexual history this is the person who feels like you got away okay this is the person who feels like you got away they were dealing with some crazy family stuff and or work stuff, home stuff, where the people they trusted, the people they protected turned on them, putting them in this position of like, what What do I do now? Like, what do I do? Like, what, what, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I'm so overwhelmed. I'm so overwhelmed, but I'm trying to figure this out. I need to figure this out. I need to figure this out. I need to figure this out. So yeah, where there is no sexual history, Aries, and like you're coming to a connection with someone, this person's freaking out because they feel like you got away because they were de too busy dealing with this stuff. I waited too long. I waited too long. I waited too long. They might still try to make it work with you, Aries, even if you have a new love interest on the horizon. They might still try to make it work with you. And for those where this is um, a connection where you have a sexual history, where you're trying to work on something, this is all the, that person's energy who wants to make it work with you. Wow. They're ready to take action though. Look at that. I love that energy. But it feels, oh God, it feels so Gemini. Um, Cause these are two very different energies. They're stuck, they're stuck, they're stuck, but they really want to take action. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can make this happen. I can make this happen. No, I can't. I'm overwhelmed. My plate's full. My plate's full. For some of you, this person, who they are, whoever they are to you, for some, they're kind of pissed off. Like, why was I set up for, the, why was this set up to happen this way? Why was it set up to happen this way? It's part of their journey. It's part of their spiritual journey. Any other messages for Aries regarding love? From now until the 14th. Ooh, look at that. Looky, looky, looky. Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio. I'm getting a lot of sexual energy off this card. Oh, stop it, Aries. Stop it, stop it, stop it. A lot of sexual energy. Look at all that water. All that... I'm, I'm not I'm not going there I'm not going there I can hear you guys some of you guys are nasty I like it though. whatever um uh yeah a lot of sexual energy off this card definitely feeling that those feminine energies that are in heat I'm definitely feeling that I'm definitely feeling that Aries uh I for the sake of the reading because I do feel like it could be vice versa for a lot of you uh, for the sake of the reading I'm gonna say that this is your energy if it's vice versa and you know that then you know it's vice versa, okay? It's just energy. Energy is not linear. Um, what is this playing hard to get? What is this? Oh, someone's being coy. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Someone likes to tease. <laughs> Aries, you like to tease a little bit. What is this? I'm not used to Aries who like to tease a lot. Um, I, well, in all fairness, I haven't met that many Aries in my life. Um, but you want it. It's like, I'm teasing you, but I really want it. I'm teasing you, but I really want it. I feel like this is you just having fun and enjoying that sexual energy. Some of you are going through a Kundalini awakening. Some people here, you, and for some, even this person, going through a Kundalini awakening, part of their spiritual journey, part of your spiritual journey as well. 
Mm. Yeah, I feel like for those who are experiencing a new connection, you're so ready for, you're so ready, Aries. It's like you're just ready to enjoy, you're ready to throw yourself into some sexual waters here. Not, I'm, I'm really trying not to be nasty, sorry guys. <laughs> you're just taking me there with this energy. Uh, for those where you're really enjoying it, I do feel like that's the new connection. You're enjoying that new connection while this person's freaking out. Um, and for those where this person wants to work on it with you, you're ready to work on it, but they're scared. They're scared to work on it. They feel like their plate's full. They do have this crazy, like, ugh, like, I almost feel like, feel like it's a mutiny, to be honest with you. Like, mutiny, um, t uh, turning of the tables energy that they're dealing with with their family and or work. Well, you're like, you're just ready. You're ready. And like I said, for those in a new connection, you're enjoying that while they're freaking out, trying to figure out how they can still get you, even though they feel like, wow, I missed my chance. Aries got away. And also you're just ready to throw yourself into this person for those where there is a sexual history and you're trying to work it out. You want to work it out, but they're, they're afraid. They're afraid and they have a lot on their plate. Any other messages for Aries regarding love from now until August 14th? Oh, that's it. Ooh, overall energy, look at look at looky. Empress, Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy, fertility. Oh my god. My guys just screamed fertility at me. Fertility. Uh this is also a lot of a heavy manifestation energy. Aries, you can manifest this if you want. Whatever you want. If you want to stick with this new person, keep enjoying. That's also how you manifest by just actually doing it, right? Um, and for those where you want to work it out with this person. You can make it work. They're the ones who have fear. They're the ones who feel like they have a full plate. They're the ones who feel like they're going through a mutiny at work or in their home environment or in their family environment. But it's like, you're looking so damn good, Aries. At least my feminine energy, Aries. My feminine energy, Aries, look at you. Look at you. A queen of cups and the empress. And I do feel this energy of like upper class, like high standards. Hey, work it, Aries, work it, work it. But. In that energy, it's it. I am getting a little bit of that hard to get. I am getting that a little bit. You you are you are in a very like feminine wiles kind of energy of really enjoying yourself, feeling really sexy, feeling really good about yourself, being playful, teasing, flirting. Um, whether you're in that new connection or whether you're in the situation where you want to work it out with this person, you could even be like egging them on a little bit like sending them really sexy flirty text messages what have you and it's like this person okay now we're getting more into the sexual energy this person really likes that even if they don't say anything they like it they really like it aries uh don't be afraid to do it um if you want to make it work with them decide what you want this is, these are just opportunities and it is a general reading decide what you want for you and what's best for your own life okay um but for those that do that where you're sending little flirty text messages, you're wearing sexy little things, male or female, right? Male version of that. This person gets so turned on by that, like so easy to Aries. It's like you, your energies are just really good together as far as your sexual chemistry is concerned. They love that. They love that. Even if they don't admit it, they just feel like they can't really come forward because they're afraid and because they do feel like they have a full plate and they do want to fix this. Look at this. They want to heal this. They want to repair this. They're just like, how do I do that with everything going on? Am I ready to do that? I don't know if I'm ready to really do that. Am I ready? They're wondering if they're ready in their own right. Okay, Aries, enough talking. Let's get, let's unpack this a little bit more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, let's unpack this a little bit more. I'm really curious about this energy and whatever it is they're going through. And again, I'm getting this like mutiny, turning of the tide, like turning of the tables, turning of the tide as well. Uh, let's look at the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> Using Rider Waite to clarify. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Aries regarding love from now. I'm hearing peaches and cream again. Team. maybe i'll just put a link for that in like in the description because it's coming in so strong i'm wondering now if it's actually like if it's if it's how someone thinks about you aries <laughs> my guide said yes <laughs> my guides just said yes someone thinks about you a lot like regarding that song like that that's anyway i, I don't want to be in the sexual energy too much i got i got work to do today so we have a ton of pentacles in reverse for Aries, I'm like, I'm almost getting bashful uh, regarding love from now until August 14th. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse. 
for Aries regarding love from now until August 14th. So I have this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What is this King of Wands losing? What is this mutiny? Play about they want to talk about it. Eight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. They want to talk about it. Uh, I'm also getting forward movement. They want to move past it. They just want to be done with it. They they want to wash their hands of the situation. But there's this energy of feeling stuck. This energy of feeling stuck, like they want to get over it. They just want to get away from it, wash their hands of it. But they're, it's almost, I'm getting like an interruption. Like an interruption from moving on from it and from what, and from finally just wrapping it up, whatever it is. But definitely a lot of talking and Aries, you might hear from them regarding this issue, whatever it is. Tell me about uh, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there is the fear. Oh, oh, I just got the chills really bad. Tower on the bottom. Nine of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy. Uh, I'm getting more of that, the one that got away. So yeah, Aries, for those that are enjoying this new connection, um, they're freaking out because they want to wash their hands of the situation and they feel like because they haven't been able to, that they've lost you, that you're the one that got away and they're very, um, they're very upset about it. They're very upset about it. They're losing a lot of sleep about it. Uh, you might even be seeing this person in your dream. Some of you are having a little bit of um, dream interaction with the two of you because their energy is very far reaching and they are so upset while you're enjoying your new connection. Um, yeah. Yeah, and for those where this is you trying to work it out with this King of Wands here, working it out with this King of Wands, there's this energy of, I, I need to get past this. I need to wrap this up so I can actually go and make it work with Aries. I need to get this wrapped up now. I need to get this wrapped up now. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, I'm hearing a lot of accusations and a lot of yelling. I don't like it. It's making me queasy. Um, Aries, it might even make this King of Wands sick. I, I, I'm getting a lot of yelling. Like those wands, I'm almost getting like accusation, accusation, yelling, screaming, accusation, accusation, all like being hurled at this King of Wands by the people who are causing this mutiny, the turning of the tables, the people they trusted, the people they trusted. And look what it's doing to them. Oh my God, it's making them crazy. Making them crazy. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, the... okay. Someone's family member with this King of Wands is telling them you're not shit. You ain't shit. What the was wrong with people? Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse. When this person was very protective of these people, fought for these people, protected these people, now they're turning around and telling this person you're you ain't shit. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Aries regarding love. All right, so I got one more. The Magician. How do I get the hell out of this? How do I wash my hands of this? Mercurial energy. Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. I need to manifest a way out. I need to manifest a way to just wash my hands of it. I do feel for some this King of Wands is actually trying to move. For some this is going down in their home environment, whether they live with family or just have roommates and it's getting crazy. Um, yeah, I'm definitely feeling that. I need to move. I need to move. I need to move. I need to move. How do I do it? How do I do it? Oh my God, Aries. I can't lose Aries. Like they, they go back and forth. There's just too much going on with this person's life right now. And it just is the way it is. And some of them are really resentful. Some of them are really resentful about it. Overall energy, we have the moon in reverse. Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader. Underneath that, interestingly enough, we do have the three of cups, Cancerian energy. So again, Aries, where this is a situation where you're enjoying a new relationship or, you know, a new person and this person's freaking out because it's like, damn, they got away from me. They're realizing that you're having a lot of fun. That moon in reverse that's being brought to the forefront. Oh my God, they're having so much fun. They're, they're enjoying themselves. They're living it up. And again, it's really upsetting this person, right? And for those where this is someone you're trying to make it work out with, this mutiny, we'll just call it mutiny for the sake of time. This mutiny, it's like, I'm, yeah, I'm getting like in cahoots. It, they're realizing people have been talking behind their back, making plans without them. Like they say one thing to this King of Wands and then they all congregate and they all like giggle, laugh, snicker. It's, it's very awful. God, for some, like this King of Wands is actually like crying about it. It's that upsetting. Especially where those where this is a family situation for them. Yeah, that's really awful. That's really awful. 
Anyway, moving ahead. So like I said, this king clearly knows that this needs to be repaired. This connection needs to be repaired. Um, and for those where you're enjoying a new relationship, they want to repair it with you. And they don't really care that you're in any relationship. They don't care because they want you. And you're the one that got away and they're not going to be able to live with that is actually what I just got. They're not living with that. They're not living in a world where you got away from them. It actually feels very Aryan. You might be dealing with another Aries. Um, or of course a Leo, right? It is the King of Wands. They're not going to live in an existence where you got away. Brace yourself for that, Aries. Brace yourself, okay? Let's look at the lovers in reverse. Let's look at the lovers in reverse. I'm curious as to uh, what other details we can get off of this, and then we're, we'll pull some advice, okay? But like I said, Aries, you are living it up. You're you're very happy. You're very flirty. You're very sexual right now. You are you are just on point with yourself. You're just feeling yourself, all right? And it's showing, and you're enjoying your your life, especially for those of you who have this new person. Um, and again, for those where you're trying to work it out with this person, you're taking a lighthearted approach with them. And I think that's the right approach, actually. Being lighthearted with them, being flirty and playful. It also, is help, it also will help them get through this bullshit and mutiny a lot quicker as well. It can be very comforting for them. Plus, it really turns them on. Okay, anyway, let's look at Lovers in a Verse. And then we'll pull some Oracle cards. Gilded, we'll go for Gilded. Tell me about the lovers in reverse. Tell me about the lovers in reverse. Tell me about the lovers in reverse. For Aries. You know, for some of you, this King of Wands, where you're trying to make it work with them, those who are trying to make it work with them, this King of Wands might have tried to have their cake and eat it too with you. Like, Aries, let's just be together while I deal with the shit, even though they can't really give you their energy because they're dealing with this mutiny. And you're just like, that little cup. No. No. Mm -mm. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Which I also think is why you're egging them on a little bit to, to really motivate them to get out of the situation. Because you know your worth. You know your worth, Aries. Tell me about lovers in reverse. Tell me about lovers in reverse. For Aries, regarding love from now until August 14th. Tell me about lovers in reverse for Aries. Regarding love from now until August 14th. Tell me about lovers in reverse for Aries. Regarding love from now until August 14th. Time. Wow. Seven of Cups in reverse. Uh, Scorpionic energy. There was a hell of a lot of confusion going on here between the two of you a lot regardless of whatever situation you're in aries this is someone whatever situation it's someone that has been pining after you you had you know there maybe was some kind of confusion some kind of kerfluffle and now you're off with someone else and others you're trying to still make it work with this person you want to make it work with this person again decide what group you're in but there was confusion here there was and they want to clear it up they want to clear up the confusion Did they lie? Eh, I don't know if I like that. Aries, this King of Wands might have lied to you. You would already know that. You would already know that. So you're asking, they did? You would already know. You would already know if that applies to you. And that's what caused the confusion. They weren't honest with you about stuff. Harmless, I don't... <laughs> Is there such a thing as harmless dishonesty? I don't think so. My guides told me harmless. I don't know. I argue with them sometimes. Um, but that's what my guides said. Oh, they thought it was harmless. Whatever it was that they weren't honest about, they thought it was harmless. And it just caused major confusion and they just want to clear that up as well. Tell me about lovers in reverse. Tell me about lovers in reverse. Also, they don't want you to have any options, Aries. Well... <laughs> Um, just because someone doesn't want you to have options doesn't mean you're entitled to give up options, right? Oh, oh, see, what did I, oh, la, seven of swords, Aquarian energy. Yeah. They lied, Aries. They lied about something. They lied about something. 
they're keeping quiet too about wanting to fix this with you like they're not talking to people about it they're not telling people about it they're keeping that to themselves and that's what i'm getting with the seven of swords um yeah 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 why don't they want people to know oh mutiny <laughs> thank you um because they're already dealing with a lot of shady ass people they it's like it's almost like people are so awful to me right now i i i i, I uh, like even like the stuttering right even the stuttering's coming through like I, I can't like i just can't i just can't go there with people i can't tell people about this it's too much it's just too much i'm too overwhelmed by the way there are two sevens here there are two sevens here tell me about lovers in reverse Tell me about lovers in reverse. Yeah, like, it's like they're keeping it a secret. Seven of Swords, it's not always sabotage or deceit. It's also about um, secrecy, but sometimes secrecy is a, an important thing, right? If you're a spy, you need to be secret and quiet. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like I'm getting just sneaky. Like, like they don't want people to know that they want to do this with you. <sighs> Knight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy. Could also be Aries or Leo with the Five of Wands. There's that mutiny energy that I'm feeling. Feeling that mutiny energy, I'm feeling a lot of violent, a lot of violent arguing. A lot of violent arguing here. A lot of battles. A lot of battles. Aries, if this ended in a weird way with this person, again, regardless of whatever group you're in, you're in. If you're with someone new and this is someone who's just pining after you and you got a history with them, um, or you want to make it work with this person, whatever happened you definitely it, it, it just wasn't clear it wasn't clear what happened it came to a weird ending there was a weird i'm just getting weird ending there was a weird ending here between the two of you or a weird a weird rift a weird separation part of it is because of these people part of it is because of these people aries this person might have again awkwardly distanced themselves from you they could have even ghosted you uh they could have just like up and left they could have ended things out of the blue very abruptly very violently i'm feeling that's because of these people it's almost like it like a people pleaser a little bit like they were trying to appease these people because oh oh i don't like this remember i was saying they really fought for these people they protected these people they invested in these people and they chose these people over you and they regret it because now mutiny mutiny yeah i'm feeling that this is more family not not work I, unless it's a family business um yeah i'm feeling it's more family related or friends related and they know they need to fix it they know they need to fix it and they also want to keep this a secret they want to clear this up and keep it a secret because they know if these people find out it's just going to cause even more drama it's going to cause even more drama tell me about lovers in reverse Talking about lovers in reverse. Yeah. Talking about lovers in reverse for Aries regarding love from now until August 14th. King of Swords, Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. <clears throat> Excuse me. This person's quite the thinker. I think that's why it's so easy for this person to overthink to overthink and become very overwhelmed. They spend a lot of time thinking. They spend a lot of time in the head. They're also strategizing what to do about these people. This is a strategy move. This is a strategy move to keep this a secret that they want to work it out with you, that they want to, that they're going to try. They are going to try. They're going to try, but they really feel like they have to deal with this mutiny bullshit first. But yeah, it's a strategy move. That's all. That's all. Also, when they made the decision, Aries, to distance themselves from you or ghost you or what have you because of these people, because they were trying to appease these people, they weren't they weren't in their heart space at all. They were purely in their head space. They took the emotion out of it. They thought it was a practical decision because in their head, it was, it was like, okay, I can appease Aries or I can appease these people who I protect and fight for and have a lot of faith in that I really care about. I care about Aries. But, you know, Aries, what, for whatever reason, they thought it was better to invest in these people and not you. And I don't like it either because I can feel you're not liking that. But it's just the truth. I'm just the messenger. They realize they made a mistake. I'm not making excuses for this person. I'm just the messenger. Do what you will with it. Okay? I'm not telling you what to do one way or another. Overall energy, we do have Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or Water. I feel like this is more of your energy coming in, Aries. So here you are having fun. 
<laughs> really feeling yourself. If you've never heard that song by Nicki Minaj, listen to that song. It might really keep you in that mood, okay? Um, but this overall energy, I'm getting like realization, realizing that you are the perfect partner for them or you are the perfect spouse potential for them. Perfect partner is really what I'm getting. Oh, someone who's really loyal, loyal Aries, loyal. They realize how loyal you have been to them and how loyal you really will be. How loyal you've been and how loyal you just are. You just are. Usually Aries are very loyal. They usually are. They're realizing that like, wow, I basically dissed the loyal one and I got my ass handed to me in this mutiny. Like I, oh, someone, someone feels like they're, they're like these people's bitch. I just heard that. Yeah, they feel, they feel like they were made a fool. They feel like very, they feel very humiliated. How could I let these people take advantage of me? I trusted these people. I cared about these people. I fought for these people. I protected these people. I stood up for these people. And I left Aries behind because I thought that's what they, they wanted. And I think it is what they wanted, but it was just, again, it's this weird, it's this, this weird, like, manipulative, codependent relationship or dynamic with these people that this King of Wands has. And then they turn around and then mutiny. <laughs> they turn around and mutiny. And then it's like, God damn it, I got rid of the loyal one. I need to go back and get my loyal one. Whether you want to work it out with this person or not, you know, whether you're exploring a new person or making it work with this person, wanting to make it work with this person. But either way, they're not going to do it until they deal with this mutiny once and for all. They have to deal with this mutiny stuff. And then once they deal with that, I think they're going to have enough space in their life to approach you. But Aries, some of you are in a new relationship. Some of you are already talking to someone new. And they don't care. So decide how you feel about that. And for those where you're like, when are we going to work this out? once they deal with the mutiny. But keep sending those flirty text messages. It's quite the motivator for them, okay? <laughs> for those who are doing that, I'm not saying everyone do that. For those that are doing that, keep doing it. It's a big motivator and they also find it very comforting and they really, really get really turned on by it, okay? All right, so let's go ahead, look at the spirit animal deck and get some advice. Hi. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? You bring peace to this person's life too, Aries, I have to say. Whoever the Queen of Cups is here. Um, you bring peace to this king. You bring peace to this king. That's something they really like. That's something they really like about you. You bring sanity to their life. <laughs> you you make things make sense. Things just make sense with you. Things just make sense with you, is what this person's saying, or thinking anyway. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries? Ay, ay, ay. Any advice for Aries? regarding this spread. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? 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 Yeah, I feel like the way they're gonna handle this mutiny is gonna be very on the down low. They're coming up with a plan, very strategic. They're coming up with a plan to deal with this mutiny and also approach you. I almost get simultaneously. It has to be done in, in like simultaneous, 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 something about simultaneous. All right, Turkey Spirit, give with grace and gratitude. 61 breaking down to a seven. This is interesting. Ooh, graciousness graciousness why would you need to be gracious Aries oh this is for the king thank you this is for the king this is advice for the king so my kings who are watching because I can feel there's actually a couple of you watching me um you'd be surprised how many men actually watch me uh this is definitely for the king in this situation with the mutiny what's gonna really help you 
is to kill them with kindness. I know I hate that phrase sometimes. Hey, just smile. Um, kill them with kindness and tact because you're coming. I'm talking to my kings right now because you're coming up with a plan anyway to handle these these idiots, um, to handle these people. And whatever plan you're coming up with, it is kept in secret. You are keeping it to yourself. That is the right strategy. And that's also what this energy is about. It's about having your composure, maintaining your composure. Don't let these people get to you. Don't let these people get to you, kings. All right? Like, seriously, they are already making you crazy. They already think they have power over you. And they don't. They don't. They don't have power over you. Keep your composure. Regal. I just heard regal. Take on that king-like regalness. Like you are royalty and that you are above this shit because you are above this shit, okay? Um, yeah, don't let them get to you. Don't let them get to you. Keep quiet about your plan to deal with them because, um, you're again, you're already coming up with a plan. So just keep quiet about it until you can execute it. Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? One more. Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? Let's see here. Oh, nice. Eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. 23, bring it down to a five. Spirit's spirit's got your back in this. Um, I'm getting a lot of protected energy. I feel like oh, this is definitely for the king. This is for the king. The king is protected in this. Um, and it is causing a lot of change in this person's life. Like I said, the king is very overwhelmed. Kings, you're very overwhelmed by this. And I get it. I totally get it. It's part of your journey. Keep your composure. Remember who you are. Is also what they're telling me. Remember who you are. And remember how much power you, you really have. You have a lot more power than you're giving yourself credit for. I'm talking to my kings. Okay? Spirit's protecting you. Spirit's got your back. Um... I'm also getting Aries, the feminine energies that I'm picking up on with this Queen of Cups energy, the ones who are really feeling themselves. Um, I'm getting a lot of spirituality coming off of you and a lot of intuition, a lot of intuition with this, a lot of intuition. Your guides are based, this is interesting, I feel like your guides are almost giving you like little downloads about what's going on with this king, even if you're in a new relationship. You can just sense it. You can sense something's going on. You might not get all the details, but some of you are definitely getting like little bits and pieces, okay? Pay attention to that. Pay attention to that. Especially if you don't want to hear from this king. Um, it'll help you to be prepared for when they try, okay? But I, honestly, Aries, I do feel like a lot of you, you know, I, I just got to call like I see it. A lot of you, even if you're exploring this new person, there's a piece of you that still has a soft spot for this king. And I think once this king comes in, you might even question like, hmm, should I do it? Should I give them another chance? Should I give up this new person for my old person? Oh, just as I said that, wow. <laughs> Intuition, owl spirit, you see clearly now, 43 breaking down to a seven, and then we have hummingbird. Uh, be here now, 34, breaking down to a 7. Look at those mirror numbers, people. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at those mirror numbers. Definitely got some counterparts going on and go, going on here. Um, Aries, my feminine energies, my queen of cups, people, the ones you're feeling yourselves. This is definitely your energy and the advice for you. Really pay attention to your intuition. You're going to get downloads about this. And I feel like this is actually the king's energy. More of the ad advice for the king. Timing. That timing. And I feel like it's really much now. My queens, you're going to know, you're, you're going to feel it, is what they're telling me. You're going to feel it when this king's about to contact you. Ooh. Oh, I got the chills on that one. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it before it comes in. It might be a day before. Some of you might just be minutes before, but you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it in your gut. You're just going to know. And to be honest, guys, would that be here now? This is a card all about timing. This is a card about the now, right now. Some of these kings are going to act very soon. Very, very soon. Very soon. I'm trying to see if I can get dates on this. Just saw the 8th and the 11th. Um, could be between the 8th and the 11th. Those are big dates, by the way. Those are very big dates. 
um, in astrology. Very big dates for energy, so not surprising. And definitely for twinsies out there, those are really, really big dates. Yeah, for my divine masculines, divine feminines who are watching, be prepared. Be prepared if this reading has resonated with you, okay? Because it's coming and it's coming fast. Coming fast. On the bottom of the deck, we have, wow. <laughs> Rhino spirit, overcome any obstacle. 50 breaking down to a five. You guys have a very long reading. My apologies. Rhino spirit, overcome any obstacle with the energy of 50. If you want to work it out this king, you can do it. You can make it happen. And for my kings that are afraid and trying to deal with this mutiny bullshit situation and want to come into their queen, you can do it. You can do it. It's for both of you. It's for both of you. Okay. And my queens who are in a new relationship and you're really not sure if you want to take this old person back or stay with your new person, you'll know the answer. Remember, use your intuition. You will know the answer and you will know what's best for you in your situation. Okay. Aries, this was intense. This was really intense. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I will see you guys later. Have a great week and a great night. Namaste.